everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at one of the newest and hottest selling motorhomes on the market today. This is a 2021 Coachman Encore Model 325SS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Encore and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at a very popular unit, the 2021 Coachman Encore. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, you're not Andrea. I am not Andrea. Who are you? My name is Trevor. We're giving Andrea the weekend off because of the beautiful cold weather down here in Florida right now. And Trevor called me the other day saying, hey, why doesn't Andrea take off this weekend so she could be recharged for the Tampa RV show? So thank you so much for that, Trevor. Absolutely. And just so everybody knows, Trevor will be representing Coachman Encore this week at the Tampa RV show. And I know you guys are gonna love this unit, so if you love it, make sure you say, you tell him that you saw him in Matt's RV reviews. Trevor, let's begin. Oh, before I begin, I would like to give a shout out to Mr. Fernandez and his family. He actually custom ordered this motor home, and so he's on his way to the dealership right now to pick it up. So we thank you. Model is 325SS, but the actual tip to tip length of this motor home is 35 feet 4 inches. This is the new uh, this is the new Coachman Encore. I love it. This is a step above a Coachman Murata. I love the way it says Encore here. I love the headlight designs. It looks good. It looks impressive. Now, Mr. Fernandez ordered this with the full body paint. Standard, it comes with the partial body paint. I think the full body paint looks great. And if you guys are going to the Tampa show, there's other exterior paint colors at the show that looks fantastic. Because this is a 2021, it does have the new 7.3 liter Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 foot pounds torque, and it is the V8 engine. Right here, we do have cameras on your left side, right side, also a camera in reverse. And then look at these oversized chrome mirrors. I love these. So many times on gas motorhomes, they're gonna give you these small mirrors. Look at these tires, Trevor. They're the Michelins, I love those. 255-80R22.5 with the shiny alcohol rims. That's going to be one of the big upgrades from this to from a Murata is the bigger tires and the better ride, you know? Coming down the side here, we have not one, but look at that. Two power awnings with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Great. Nice power awnings with LED lights. Trevor, look at that. That is absolutely amazing. This is the ultimate outdoor camper motorhome, and I'll explain why more in a second. Because this is a Coachman, they do use the Asdale sidewall composite, which is a green-based material that will never delaminate on you. Right here, we do have a TV on the outside. Frameless windows, Trevor, throughout the whole motorhome. And then check this out. Nice storage. Now, uh, Coachman did make something called a Murata Select, which I think they discontinued. And that did have the aluminum slam latch doors, which would have made this a tier four. But I'm fine with this being a tier three because at least it is still a slam latch door. Right there. Right here, Trevor, is your propane tanks. And we will have the propane tank sizes, length, width, specs, everything. Bing! Right there so everybody can see who's watching on television. And then here is a plug for the outside in case you have a golf cart. More storage right here. Very nice. Right here, Trevor, is a place for you to hook up a grill on the outside. And then look at this. Wow. wow. Beautiful outside kitchen. A sink that's actually plumbed through. Right here is the refrigerator on the outside. Storage underneath there. And storage right there. Trevor. You're one of our motorhome specialists here in Ocala. Yes, sir. Do you see very many motorhomes with an outside kitchen, let alone the upper end motorhomes? Definitely not. It's definitely a uh, thing on the Encore that's 
pretty unique. Right. Like you'll see this a lot on like the Aces and the Wind Sports and the uh, Winnebago Intense, the cheaper stuff. So to get it with the full body paint and 22.5 inch tires is awesome. Now, part of the reason why a lot of manufacturers don't give you an outside kitchen, Trevor, is because it takes away from your storage. But look at this. Not here. Not here. Here we're going now. Look at that. Boom. You still get awesome pass-through storage in the rear. I absolutely love that. Coming around the back, look at these tail light design. I love that. The two-tone color, the paint color right there, that's a fiberglass rear cap. Fuel fill up in the rear, so it's gonna be easy to access on both sides of a gas station. Your backup camera there, and right there, we also do have a 8,000 pound tow hitch. Now, this motorhome cannot tow 8,000 pounds. You're saving 5,000 pounds. Any more than 5,000 pounds, you really wanna weigh your motorhome to make sure you don't overload it if you do wanna go higher than 5,000 pounds. It's just a safety thing. And then we do have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Trevor, let's go up there and take a look. Here we go now. You're supposed to say be careful. Be careful, Matt. Thank you, Trevor. All right, up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one piece fiberglass roof. We have not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right there's your King Air digital antenna. There's your max fan right there. And then as you can see, it already has a solar panel installed on top. Here we go now. Here we go. No, you're supposed to say be careful. Matt, be careful. Thanks, Trevor. <laughs> And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. No one. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Trevor, you gotta watch the show more. <laughs> right here, 50 amp power cord. There's the storage right there. More storage. Wow, go in there, Trevor. Look how big and deep that is. That's very nice. Look at this water heater right here fully painted i love that feature. i love it look at this wet bay beautiful clean organized wet bay outdoor shower water filtration system potable water fill potable 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 okay <laughs> trevor you're losing subscribers now <laughs> it's okay right here is the cummins onan 5500 generator Right over here is more storage. And then this, you can see that you do have the auto leveling and everything right there. Well, Trevor, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Oh, snap, I didn't even forget. I love the grill here. It looks like a GMC Denali grill, like the honeycomb shape. It looks really, really great. Let's go take a look. Now, Trevor, walk in and walk all the way to the back with the slide out, Sal. The cargo carrying capacity, wow, 5,292 pounds. Great. Now, while the slide out's coming out, I have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could, please. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about it. The more people to comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our videos to. And Trevor, can you believe we hit 100,000 subscribers? I cannot, man. That's pretty impressive, man. Yes. And again, I hope to meet everybody this week at the Tampa RV Super Show. Andre and I, we are gonna be going live every single day. We will be in the Nexus RV display. We'll have a bright orange tent that says Matt's RV Reviews. And again, make sure you stop by and see Trevor at the Encore display. It'll be him and Matt Williams. Um, they're going to be the only two at the Encore display. So either of them will be able to help you get the best price in America. Trevor, let's start up here. Sounds good. So up front here. This is a 7.3 liter engine. This is the new, you have the modern steering wheel. I love this, I feel like a commander. You have your auto leveling right here, your lights right there, everything's very nice, easy to get to. This is your screen, you can see your left side, right side in reverse, Apple CarPlay and everything. And then Trevor, you wanna sit my co-captain seat? Absolutely. 
How's it feel? This is comfy. I like this. It is. It is. It's a comfy seat. Do you have any cup holders beside you? Um, up here. Nope. Nope. nope right here. Got one cup oh. holder down here. Cup holder right there, and then pull off that computer tray again. I love that computer tray. You can be on the laptop while driving down the road. Got two USB. USBs. Yep. Perfect. And um, the both seats do swivel around to become part of the living area. If we come on up, we do have a bunk over the cab, which it looks like there's no locks in it. Before I show you that, we do have very nice storage underneath the bunk over the cab right there. And then, That's probably good. It does come down a lot lower. This is the bunk over the cab right here and it does hold 300 pounds. And then let's take a look at it when it's all the way up. You'll see, it'll, it'll look cool on camera. Oh. The batteries are low. Okay. The batteries are low, so we're actually gonna let the engine run to charge up the batteries. Okay, so over here in the living room area, look at the dinette. I love what uh, Coachman does with the two-tone colors. You got that cream look and this gray look right here. You do have storage underneath both dinettes, okay? Very nice. This does drop down to make a bed. I personally really like these light fixtures. Andrea's not a huge fan of them, but I like them. I like them. Look at this clock. That clock is very Art Deco. You're supposed to say no. No? Trevor, you gotta watch the show, man. You gotta watch <laughs> the show. All right. And then right here, we do have MCD privacy blinds right there. Everybody in America just said no, and you're like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's funny. And then over here in the living room area, we do have nice white cabinetry above. Very nice. Hidden hinge cabinetry at that. And I love kind of the uh, glass fillers right there. Oh, and I lied. Not hidden hinge cabinetry, no big deal. And then here is the theater seats. Now, in this motorhome, theater seats is the standard. Uh, the sofa is the option. You have really nice storage right there. Cup holders here, and look at this. I love this because I'm looking directly across at the television. You have a Jensen TV right here, a little bit of storage right there, and a fireplace right there, Greystone fireplace. And Trevor, you know what else I just noticed? What's that, Matt? Half of the lights are off. Oh, wow. wow! Wow, look how bright it is in here. That's crazy. What a world of difference that made. Right. Well, Trevor, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this motorhome here is $188,710 MSRP. If you decided to get this without the full body paint and some of the other options Mr. Fernandez bought, MSRP is $174,381. So that kind of shows you how the price can fluctuate some. Sale price on the 174.381 is 132.998. That is a phenomenal price. But Trevor, we can get everybody an even better price than that. Do you know what they should do? They should call you. Call. Call. Text. text email. Yeah. Or FaceTime. Let's try it. You ready? Yeah. What can they do, Trevor? They can call. Text, email, or FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or check out the website, mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact me tab with three choices. If you're ready to buy the Encore or any motorhome, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV to fill out a form, and somebody from my team will call you within 24 hours. If you have questions about this motorhome, click tab number two. That sends me an email and I will be able to answer you within 24 hours. 
Or if you just have a generalized fan question, click number three. But Trevor, it doesn't matter if they click tab three, two, or one. What's the one thing that always matters? That they do it. That they get, we, it doesn't <laughs> matter. We will get them the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Or there's now a fourth one. Or make sure you visit Trevor at the Tampa RV show this weekend. And Trevor, what will you get everybody? The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Nice. Trevor, let's continue the video. Absolutely. So you're gonna have all solid surface countertops. Very nice. Yep, throughout the entire kitchen. You're gonna have one of the pop-up outlets. Oh, that's a tower of power right there. <laughs> Dual USBs, two plugs right here. You're gonna have tons and tons and tons of counter space, as well as cabinetry space for storage. Very nice. You lift, lift up these covers right here. You're gonna have a single sink. That is a nice farmhouse sink, I yep. love that. With pull out residential style faucet. Yes. Down below, still more storage. All the way down here. So lots and lots of room for all your things when you're out camping. And then Trevor, yes, you're man. missing a big part. Open that bottom drawer and then throw it back in. Soft, closed drawers. Boom. We love that. Boom. Convection microwave. Yes, sir. Along with a three burner stove with a fold up cover. So it folds back. So my favorite thing to tell customers is this. Right now, you got bacon. But if you're doing spaghetti, boom, you're ready. You got a full backsplash all the way across. Whoa, where'd that come from, Trevor? <laughs> Go figure, right? And then here's something else that I love. I love this huge window right here so you can see out to your campsite. Absolutely. Keep an eye on the kids around the fire while you're cooking dinner. You're gonna have another big storage drawer right underneath the stove. And I prefer that because you do have a really big convection oven. Absolutely. Nobody uses their oven anymore. Nobody, uses, nobody makes Thanksgiving at a, <laughs> at a camp anymore. <laughs> right. You're gonna have a full size residential refrigerator. Wow. This is, this is a G&E. Very nice. And right below you're gonna have your fuse box as well as all of your heat and ducts are not in the floor. Oh, very good feature. Absolutely. And then would you say that, that this could kind of be like a pantry area oh, right sure. here? Yep. Three shelves, all set to be a full-size pantry or any other storage you're gonna have while you're out camping. Great, and how tall are you? I'm about six foot. Okay, let's step in the shower. Sounds good. Okay, so first, I, you guys know I, how I feel about these doors. So Trevor being six foot tall. Oh, I got room for days. Oh man, look at that. Man, you had plenty of room. Lots of room. Very nice shower right there. Right here we have our sink with a little bit of storage underneath. Hold that. We have a little bit of storage right here. And then Trevor. Well, we also have a little bit of storage right here and there. And then it's now time for the toilet test. Proper pooping position? Yes, sir. Prime pooping position. Okay. So here's what I'm going to say. If you're taller, look right here, Trevor. If you're taller, um, your knee's going to hit. But, you know what? I cannot give this a prime pooping position, but I'm not gonna not give it a prime pooping position. I mean, it is on the prime meridian. <laughs> it is It is not passing, but it's not failing. Um, I forgot what I gave it in the 2020 version of this as well. But again, it's the prime meridian, but it's still doable. And again, they're, they're trying to shove a lot of stuff in this motorhome and wait till we see the rest of it. Boom! Stackable washer dryer. Now, Ms. Fernandez ordered this with stackable washer dryer. That was also part of that MSRP price, okay? And then check this out. You know, you have a nice little piece of artwork right here. Very nice, a sailboat. It's very Nautica theme in here. We have storage right over here. Storage right here. TV with storage Ooh. behind it. You have a little countertop there, and then six dresser drawers. I, Trevor, I love the soft closed drawers. Oh, me too. Okay, now this is a king size bed, folks. I love this. Nice headboard, nice pillow design. I love the way this motorhome looks. We wanna go over here. We have a drawer right there. Storage right here. And then plenty of storage above. And then this is a CPAP station, okay? So you plug in your CPAP machine and there's a little hole right under here for you to run your CPAP hose through and you can keep it up there. I love that feature. Love the pillows and everything. And Trevor, 
Yes, Matt. This motorhome, it's a little hard to get changed, right? Yeah, little, a little snug. Little, little, little snug, little snug, right? How do you fix that? You raise me up so I can change my socks. <laughs> Look at this. I love this. So one, you have a mirror. Two, you have storage under this dinette. I love that. Three, you can sit here and put your shoes on. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I can get dressed. This is awesome. This is one of the best features about this motorhome and and i absolutely love that and i love the windows and i love the led lights in here i just this motorhome so bright and modern and light and i love it well trevor that's it that's the review now before everybody leaves it's now time we give them three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it trevor what do we do first three things we love Nope, let's do dislikes. Okay, three things we dislike. <laughs> if, if you would have said dislikes, I would have said love. So I'm just kidding. With you. Three things we dislike about it. Okay, I'm going to go first. First thing I hate, I hate this bathroom door style. Not only that, I'm, I'm going to say I don't like the whole bathroom. I hate radius showers personally. I'm a bigger guy. I hate the way this door opens. And this bathroom just seems a little cramped to me. Again, it didn't get the prime pooping position, but it didn't not get the prime pooping position. It's teetering on that line. And for me, that's just a dislike. Trevor, do you have a dislike? Um. You're on the spot, Matt. Yep. Um. Not well, so Trevor, Trevor's one of the top salespeople, okay? And they asked him if he wanted to work the American coach display. And he volu he said, no, put me in the Encore display because this unit at this price point is going to kill it. Absolutely. So, but you still have to find a dislike. A dislike. <laughs> Talk to me. Um, I personally am a pro I, I like the split style sinks only because. Really? Yep. Only because if I'm doing dishes while I'm camping, I like to have a spot to wash and dry. I get that a lot of other people really like having the single style farmhouse sink. Yeah. But personally for me, that is one of those things that I like to be, have a spot to wash and to dry. See, that's why I love the show because it is all based on opinion. Absolutely. And Andrea loves this. Yep. So now America's not gonna buy from you. No, I'm just kidding, no, 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 I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, no, that's what's so great about the show. Some people love it and some people want the other one. Absolutely. And that's great. And then I have a third feature. The bunk over the cab right here. I don't like one, how slow it goes. And two, the fact that it only holds 300 pounds, you know, I'm not a huge fan of that. 300 pounds is going to be fine for one person, but the fact that some of them can hold 500 pounds, some of them can hold 750 pounds, so 300 pounds to me, it's just, you little, know. A little snug. Right. But it's okay. Those are for the non-paying customers anyway. <laughs> Great. So that's three things we don't like about this motorhome. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. I'm going first. All right. First thing I'm going to say, I love this bedroom area. I love, well, I'm going to combo this because a lot of times you don't, you don't get a good bedroom when you have an outside kitchen. Correct. So I love the fact that you have that outside kitchen. I'm dude, I'm doing a big combo. The outside kitchen, that huge pasture storage on the outside, a king side, king size bed that does this flip up thing. And it is awesome. And what's great is, it doesn't even mess up the integrity of the bed. It's not like there's a fold in the middle of the bed, you know? Absolutely. That is so awesome. I absolutely love this feature. That's one. Two. My favorite thing about this coach, honestly, is I love the seating area and the colors. I'm comboing as well. Oh! I know, right? <laughs> so, I love the dual theater seating um, with the storage in between so you're never losing your remote. But I love being across from the TV and the fireplace with the colors of the coach, you know, setting a fire, anything like that, or electric fire, don't set a fire. Right. Um, anything like that, what a beautiful night. Like you could, you know, say it's a little cold outside like it is today. You could have a nice fire inside, watch a movie, get kind of cuddled up, but with beautiful kind of light colors inside. I'm going to triple combo that. Oh, triple combo. Uh, I'm going to do the Panda Express. You get the two meats and the rice. But if you get that third one, they give you a little meat to go. Absolutely. Uh, the LED lights in here. Absolutely. There's like an additional strip of lights and you can tell how much it makes a difference. We did half of the review with the lights off and I couldn't even tell. 
So that light com combo with the color scheme looks absolutely fantastic. So that's two. And then three, we're going outside. Outside, back into the tundra. I love the way this cosmetically looks. I love the dual awning. I think it looks fantastic. I love the full body paint, but at the same time, the partial body paint looks equally impressive. I love the Asdale, right? So it'll never delaminate on you. I love the fiberglass roof. And Trevor, to finish it all off, this is just swag. This is swag point. Pulling into the campground looking like this with this aggressive headlight design, looking like you're driving the GMC Denali of motorhomes. I love that. Well, Trevor, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Trevor, thank you for giving Andrea this cold day and the weekend off. You know, Trevor said that he really wanted Andrea to be refreshed for the show. So we appreciate you filling in. Absolutely. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell phone number. In a few seconds, you're gonna see direct competition to this Encore right here. Also, depending on when you watch this, Trevor, uh, next week I'm doing uh, the top five RV review awards. So if that video is out, I'll put that video there and you'll be able to see where this ranked on my top five list. Trevor, do you have anything you want to say? Um, you know, all I can say is guys, Encore is one of my favorite brands and really come out and see me and Matt at the RV show this week. Matt Williams. Matt Williams. Bing, bing. Um, we're more than happy to help you guys out. Uh, any questions, concerns, anything you want to know about these, we're going to have your answers. Perfect. Also, finally, if you're watching this uh, and it's after the Tampa RV show, Trevor is one of the motorhome specialists here at General RV in Ocala. So make sure you come in and see them. Just what's the one thing they have to tell you? They watch Matt's RV videos. Burr, 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 burr. Thanks so much for watching. Trevor, we're gonna see, we're gonna say we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching, Trevor. We'll see you next time.